nothing Yeah If it ain't love, it ain't nothing Peace and power to the true and living. What's good, family? This is Seaborn, Nasiefa Sun, and I am you. Yo, Happy New Year's. Happy New Year's from myself and Marble on this beautiful day. The wind is blowing. Clouds are kind of gray, but the sun is up, and it feels great. <laughs> Yo, Happy New Year's once again, and we thank the Lord for allowing us to see it through to 2023 and giving us the opportunity in this time, this grace period, to draw nearer to him. So we're thankful for that opportunity. So Happy New Year's once again. And I want to talk about, well, I don't know if I have a specific, well, yeah. I want to talk about the day of the radiant star. The day of the radiant star, it was December 29th. December 29th every year, that's the day of the radiant star. And this is a day, this is an event that is relatively you know, unheard of. The great majority of human beings are oblivious as to the significance of the day of the radiant star. And I did a video before on the origins of Christmas. Um, I took it down because I want to do more research and I want to go deeper into that topic and talk about all the other um, events as well, you know, but, um, the day of the radiant star, that's the event, you know, because as I explained before in uh, many of my videos, how the creator sends his, his love into creation, you know, and, and God's love is his power. He sends that power, that love into creation for the purpose of nourishing and maintaining creation so that creation can uh, remain in existence. You know what I mean? So that creation can remain in existence. So the Lord sends his, his, his power out into creation annually. And the day, the time that it reaches the earth is the day of the radiant star, you know, which is December 29th, the date that has been given to us. So the day of the radiant star is on December 29th. And you think about it, it's about seven, eight billion people on the planet earth. And this is a day, an event that is so monumental. You know, like literally, this is what keeps us here and keeps keeping us alive and keeping all the planets and everything going. Nature, water, air, Keep all of that going. You know, the creator sends fresh uh, power and nourishment into creation every year. So the day that that, that power, that love reaches the planet is uh, December the 29th. And you have all these people on the planet Earth who are completely oblivious to this event. You know? And honestly, we have to be quite honest. We have to be frank about it. We take, we take our creator for granted. You know? We take our creator for granted. Because here it is, we don't even know 
how all this is being held together, how all, you know, all things are staying afloat. But it happens. But yet we have all these other customs, vain customs that we put all our time and energy into. They don't mean not a damn thing. But the day of the radiant star is, is, is something that is unknown. The most monumental event for creation, you know? Because this, this is not just for the planet Earth, this is not just for human beings, it's for the entire creation, this event, you know? It's just that we celebrate ours, we receive ours on December 29th, the day of the radiant star. And, and uh, this is also uh, linked to the birth of Jesus. And this is the star that descended that day in Bethlehem, you know, during uh, the time that Jesus was being born. The radiant star. And it still happens. It's just that back then you had people who were spiritually pure and more connected and more open so they could see the star. You know, back back in the early uh, in the early beginnings, human beings received pre prepared ourselves for these events. You know, that's where things like the 12 holy nights come from, because uh, some of the human beings uh, who knew of this event, they would prepare themselves in, in advance, 12 days in advance. So that's where the 12 holy nights come from. So 12 holy days, you know, 12 days of uh, preparedness to, to receive the great love, you know, power and support of the creator. You know, so there was many customs created around this thing. So it was something that human beings prepare themselves for. It's a big deal. It's just that uh, today, modern day human beings, we, us, we don't recognize, we don't fully recognize the significance of this. So it is taken for granted, to be quite honest and frank, it is taken for granted, even by those of us who, who, who know of it. You know? And this reminds me of, it reminds me of that lecture in the grill message. The lecture, um, the Holy Word in the second, no, in the first volume uh, of Resonances, Resonances to the Grill Message, of course, the 1931 edition, the lecture of the Holy Word, where the writer of the Grill Message was saying that he didn't want to give this word to humanity. It was a challenge. It was a very difficult thing to do because human beings would not recognize the would not recognize the sacredness, the value. Would not recognize what it is that we truly have in our hands with this word, and therefore we would not properly honor the word. You know, we're we're gonna just like we do with everything else. We're gonna drag it into the mud, drag it into the dirt. You know, so he didn't want to give us give us the, the, the word for that purpose because we would not recognize recognize the sacredness of it and we would dishonor the word. That's what uh, this reminds me of. When I think about events like the day of the radiant star and that's just one event, there's others. You know, but the day of the radiant star is. Perhaps the biggest of, of, of all the events. Because as I mentioned, this is what keeps creation in existence. This is what, this is what keeps everything going. 
you know. So we have such a day that we have we are completely ignorant of. But yet we have all these other customs. For example, think about the day of the radiant star compared to a, a day like Halloween. You know what I mean? Every man, woman, and child knows what Halloween is. You know what I mean? So these are some of the, the things that we have to think about. So when people want to complain, you know, where was God when I was going through this, that, and the third? You know, when they want to complain about God and be angry, angry at God and blame God for things and so forth, it's just something to think about because people, those of us who do, who do things like that, we have absolutely no idea what we're talking about. And it's coming from a place of complete ignorance and, and uh, emptiness. You have no idea, you know, to the extent that God loves his creation and what he has done and still does, you know, for his creation. You have no idea. That's why in the grill message it says that the love of God is incomprehensible. We can't really understand that kind of love. If, if God was a human being, he would have dropped creation a long time ago out of anger and exhaustion if he was a human being. Like, he would have destroyed creation a long time ago as opposed to continually nourishing creation and keeping it going, you know? Well, not the whole creation, we're just talking about human beings. You know, but if God was a human being, you know, if God was a man, that's what would have happened. <coughs> <coughs> you know? So just some things to reflect upon as we open up this new year, you know what I mean? And there's another thing I wanna talk about also, I uh, I recorded a video a few days ago, I haven't uploaded it on, I haven't published it on YouTube yet, but I recorded a video a few days ago and this is the longest video that I've recorded, it's two hours and like 20 minutes long, it's really long, you know, but it's a long video because it's a deep dive. You know, it, it's titled Spiritual Acrobatics, Magicians and Hustlers. You know, talking about this new age spirituality. And this is something that I've talked about before, but this time we're going incredibly deep and I'm even, you know, diving into some of the gatekeepers, you know, of this thing and, and really talking about the dangers you know, of this. And just seeing so many things that's happening and so many people being misled and you seeing the word being for, uh, fulfilled when it talks about in the end times how there will be many, many false prophets will come and they will mislead many, you know. And for those of us who have the word of the, of the grill message, the word of God, we have a responsibility to speak out and say something, the least we could do, you know, for those of us who, who has truly absorbed the word of this grill message, you have to look at yourself, consider yourself a messenger. You have been called to be a messenger of this, of this word. And you must get it out to those pe to people who need it. You know, it, it is our responsibility. So remember the snake, you know, in the backyard example. You know, so I recorded this video and it, 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 it's incredibly long, but it is it is a deep dive because I feel I, I feel a, a a responsibility to really talk about these things and expose the deception, the evil that lays hidden within it um, for the human spirit. You know the traps, you know, for the human spirit. So it, it's a deep dive. So I'm gonna be uploading that video uh, maybe sometimes today or tomorrow. But um, I urge you to check it out, you know, watch it to the end and be aware of this and also share this information, you know, get this out there, share this information to those who, who you, who you uh, know it'll help.
you know what I mean? Share with as many uh, people that you think uh, it'll, it'll be useful to. And unfortunately, we can't save everybody. Unfortunately, we can't. But there are still people out there who are earnestly seeking and searching, who do want to know, you know. So we gotta we gotta you know, reach those people out there and get it to them. You know what I mean, but um, just a heads up, man. That video is coming out. Spiritual acrobatics, magicians and hustlers. We're going deep into that, man. There's a lot of, you know, people are being led astray, man. And like I said, I feel it necessary to talk about this because you see the way in which people are being led away from God. You know, people are being led away from God into the arms of these false prophets who are just leading people in, into the, you know, the fiery pit of Lucifer. You know what I mean? Because that's who they really serve. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, that video's coming out soon, so be on the lookout for it. So with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here. Happy New Year's once again. We thank the Lord. Thank the Lord for bringing us this far, giving us the strength to carry on, you know, wiping the fear away from our minds and our hearts through eradicating our ignorance, you know, through learning of his word. And, and, and we know that the word of God is fulfilled. The Lord is not mocked, you know. So we thank, we thank the Lord. We thank you, Lord, for that. We thank you for your great and uh, incomprehensible love. And we just pray that you continue to nourish us and, and strengthen us and educate us, teach us, you know, and, and, and equip us, protect us as we fight our way through this, this darkness, you know, and we, as we fight our way through, you know, what is to come, you know what I mean? We thank you, Lord. We thank you for that. So, Peace and power to the true and living. This is Seaborn, I see up for son, and I am you. <laughs> Happy New Year's, fam. <laughs>